Alright, what's up everyone? Uh, so in this video we're going to make our first LaTeX document. Um, and uh, I'm going to do it the basic bare bones way. Uh, you might have some system for automatically compiling documents or you might be using share LaTeX or something online. Uh, but I'm going to do it in the most basic way. Uh, but the core is learning the syntax, uh, not necessarily uh, you know, I'm not necessarily caring about how you're compiling your documents. Uh, so I'm going to make a working directory, uh, and I'm going to cd into that. Uh, you can do it however you want. Uh, but I'm going to create a file, and I'm going to call it uh, latech.tech. Now, you, I'm using Vim as my editor. You can use whatever. doesn't matter. Um, but we're just going to go ahead and open this up. Now, basic syntax of a LaTeX document. There are only a couple things you need to have in each document. One of them is the document class function. Um, so functions in LaTeX are ca called with this uh, slash, and the function name is document class, and then you can put arguments inside of these curly brackets. Now, some functions will not take anything in curly brackets. In that situation, you would just have nothing. Uh, but we're going to give this the, art the argument article. Uh, and this is just telling LaTeX, use the um, article format when you format this document. There are other choices. You can use a book or, you know, a handout or a Beamer presentation. But we're going to be dealing with articles now, and we'll talk about the other ones later. Um, so that's one thing you need. The other thing is you need to actually begin and end the text of your document. And how you do that is with the begin function. So begin document and end document. Um, now, the stuff that's between these, uh, you know, this that's in this environment here, that's the stuff that's actually going to pop up on your PDF uh, or whatever you compile this to. The stuff up here might be, you know, defining functions, calling packages, whatever. Uh, but down here, you can do that as well, but this is where the, your actually te actual text is going to do, uh, going to, you know, exist. Um, so the last thing we'll put here is actually put some text. So this is some text, um, and that's it. Uh, so if we save that document, now I'm now I'm going to go into my working directory where I where this file is, and in order to compile that, you can just type PDF LaTeX, and then we'll do LaTeX.tech, and that'll compile. Now if you're using like Share LaTeX or something or some kind of uh, you know aid. Um, it will it might have a compile button or it works differently but I'm sure you can figure it out we're doing everything the basically the caveman way um, just to make sure we're on the same page now I'm gonna open this PDF in uh, events and uh, events is just a PDF viewer uh, the reason I'm gonna use it well actually here's our text here's our document congratulations you just compiled your first law tech document but the reason I'm using events is whenever the PDF has changed, it'll automatically update. Uh, and if you're on Windows, you can use something like Sumatra PDF, uh, or look for some PDF that does the same, thing, the same thing. Otherwise, you'll be opening it every time you update the document. Um, anyway, so now we got our first document. Uh, now let's add some stuff to this. One thing you're going to want in basically every document is some kind of title. Now, uh, titles are called with the make title command, but that requires you to do two things. One is you have to say what the author is. So what, how you do that is above the begin document tag, you can say author, and then you can put your name. Um, and then you can give it a title. Let's say uh, my first LaTeX document. Um, that looks good. Now once you've done that, in your text area, you can just... Uh, say make title. Now this make title command will call these two things. Well, I'll just show you what it looks like. We'll recompile this, and here you will see it says my first LaTeX document. It'll have your name and it'll have the date. Um, now you can change the date as well. So you can say like date last uh, Monday or something like that. And if you recompile that, last Monday will be the actual. Uh, date, I mean literally written out last Monday, but it, you don't have to include this uh, and if you don't include it it'll just be uh, today's date. Okay so anyway that's making a title. Uh, so one other thing, you gotta do this because you you know I know all you guys want to be super cool you don't want to write law tech like this, you want to write it in the cool way and how you do that is uh, there's a special function for writing law tech in the characteristic law tech way uh, and there it is. So if you call this function, then you get this specially formatted text. So notice that I've put this in curly brackets. This is a general tip. Uh, general tip. 
Sometimes you'll call um, you know functions like make title that have no arguments, and text might run uh, behind them. If you don't include curly braces, you might have some text formatting error. Uh, so let me compile that. For example, you'll notice if I don't have the curly brackets, LaTeX sort of eats up the space behind it. Um, so putting the curly brackets around it is just sort of a safe way of uh, you know calling arguments or functions without any arguments. Okay, so anyway, now we got our title. Uh, here's some basic uh, text logic. Um, so if you press return and go to a next line, so this is a new line in my editor. Uh, save that, compile it. You'll notice that it's actually the same line uh, in the LaTeX document. And that's because if you want to make a new paragraph, you have to make, you have to make two uh, returns. Um, and then we can recompile that. And bam, now you have two paragraphs. It's not super clear because the first one isn't very long, but if I make this a little longer, you will see that it wraps around. Uh, and this is indented, this is indented automatically. Um, let me zoom out a little. Okay, so that's the basic logic, um, just two returns to get a new line. Okay, so section headings, that's another important thing. Um, now to make a section heading, very easy, you just type section, and we'll call this section introduction, and we'll put another down here, and we'll call it, um, you know, I don't know, formatting. Are there two T's in formatting? I don't even know. Who cares? Um, oh yeah, I, theoretically I have uh, some kind of spell check. Okay, yeah, that looks right. Um, okay, so formatting. Um, so you'll notice that even though we didn't put any numbers in these section headings, uh, they're already automatically assigned numbers by LaTeX. Uh, and these will change every time that you recompile. So formatting is two right here. If I add another section, we'll call it, I don't know, you know, numbering something like that. Um, if we recompile it then, you'll notice that uh, numbering is now 2. So these numbers are automatically assigned at compile time. Uh, now you can also make uh, subheadings. So for example, um, you can just say subsection and you know, we'll just call this subsection subsection. Um, and these will be, again, automatically numbered uh, wherever they are. So this is 3.1. So this is the basic uh, sort of skeleton of your LaTeX document. Now, just as a note, you might be looking at this and be like, oh, I don't want a document formatted exactly like this. I don't like the way the headings look. I don't like the way the title looks. And that's fine. The logic of LaTeX is you write this in syntax and you can change that stuff later. We'll talk about that later. But for now, just bear with me, even if you, eh, I don't like the way it looks. Uh, although, you, you're going to get used to the LaTeX aesthetic. You're going to come to appreciate. I used to try and format my documents in funny ways when I first started learning it. But there's some appeal to the, like, default format. You, there just is. Okay, so anyway, uh, one last thing. Uh, some important formatting stuff that you got to know. You got to know how to do the basic stuff like bold, italics, all that kind of stuff. Okay, so this is normal text. Nice and simple. Um, now, if you want to make some bold text, uh, what you do is you call the text bf command. So this is bold text. Okay, save that and compile it. Here we got some bold text. Uh, I'll zoom in so you can see it a little easier. Um, if you want to make italic text, you can say text it. This is italic. Um, or there's also a command which is inf for emphatic emphatic test text this is emphatic nice and simple all of them uh, work pretty much the same way uh, so you'll notice that italics and emphatics look about the same in fact they look exactly the same uh, but stylistically these are different you should use the text IT when you're using like things that are always italicized like book titles or Latin phrases or something and if uh, inf is for anything emphatic now the reason they're different is in some kind of documents, like style guides might want emphatic text to be, uh, you know, not italic but maybe bold or maybe red or something. Uh, so you want to have these in different commands. So if you want, you can redefine what inf does uh, and keep text italic the way it is. So that's just a side note. Uh, but of course you have other things. Uh, underline. Uh, here is some underlined text. Uh, and all of that works pretty much 
uh, the way you would expect. Okay, one final note, uh, one final note on quotations. And this is something that'll trip people up when they first start using LaTeX. Um, so let's put something in quotations. So uh, this is in quo quotation marks and compile that uh, and see what happens. Um, now, if you look really close, I don't know if you can see it on mine, you might be able to see it on yours. Um, the closing quote looks fine, but the opening quote looks just like a closing quote. It looks a little funny. Now, LaTeX, the logic of LaTeX is that everything you put in is unambiguous. Um, so this one symbol that you put in for two quotes, that always means the same thing in both of these situations. Um, now, if you want to use the quotes the way that they are meant to be used, uh, you should use two grave accents. Uh, those are the, that's the accent right next to one on an English, American English keyboard at least. Um, so it's the, the sort of falling accent. So this is in proper quotation marks. And then you close them with two apostrophes right next to each other. And if you recompile that, uh, you will see, oh look, that's exactly what we want it to look like. Or you can have the same thing and have only um, uh, single quotes around it, and that's going to do what you expect. Just make sure to use this uh, special opening quotation. All right, so now we've covered some really basic stuff about the formatting in LaTeX. Uh, so a lot of this might seem arbitrary uh, because the magic of LaTeX is not necessary. You're not seeing it. But in the next video, we're going to start talking about labels and references uh, and soon bibliographies, and you'll see the real magic of this. Uh, but for now, just understand uh, the, you know, the basic syntax of a LaTeX document. You've got your document class. You, open and you begin and uh, end your document. You have the make title command, which calls an author and title. Uh, you have sections and subsections. Uh, and you also have things like uh, bold font, uh, italic font, and remember the, not, the uh, little caveat about quotation marks. So anyway, in the next video, we're going to talk about labels and refs and why, why LaTeX is so powerful for dealing with document editing. So anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. See you around.